We interrupt our program with a special bulletin. An unidentified object has been spotted in orbit around the Earth. Greetings, debaters. My name is Scott. Today we're going to be talking about my 2020 anticipated releases. Um, I have quite a collection here. I'll try to go through, through them pretty quick. I'll put links down in the description below so you can check out all those angles. Um, these are ones that I've, I've kind of watched a lot of other people's 2020 videos, so I've kind of gotten ones that uh, I haven't seen other people talk about. So hopefully these will give you something new and exciting. All right, the first one is Goldilocks by Laura Lamb. Goldilocks says, the future of humanity hangs in the balance, and one woman can tip it over. Uh, despite increasing restrictions on the freedoms of, woman of women on Earth, Valerie Black is spearheading the first all-female mission to a planet in the Goldilocks zone, where conditions are just right for human habitation. Our future is in her hands, is the tagline for Goldilocks. This will be coming out in May of 2020. Uh, the next one I have is Quality Land by Mark U. Kling. Welcome to Quality Land, the best nation on earth, because it was built for you. In Quality Land, everything is automated to make your life more convenient. Digital personal assistants find everything from the best food to the best friends. A universal ranking system decides which social class you'll excel in and what career you should pursue. While advanced algorithms find the most successful company on earth, the shop deliver necessities to your door without you needing to order them. Everything is easy, everything is personal, everything is quality. Um, this will be out on January 7th of 2020, translated from German into English, and it says that um, HBO will also turn Quality Land into a series in the future, so be sure to check out the book before that happens. So this one kind of sounds like uh, books like The Circle, books like The Warehouse that I read, or like um, The Ranking System, like the Affinities book, if you had read that one. So that one's pretty cool. Um, the next one is the sequel, uh, The Shadow Saint by Gareth Hanrahan. The sequel to um, The Gutter Prayer. This is kind of a dark urban fantasy. Um, this comes out sometime, which I don't have, which I'll label somewhere. Thieves, dangerous magic, and a weapon built with the power to destroy a god clash in the second novel of Gareth Hanrahan's acclaimed epic fantasy series, Black Iron Legacy. Enter a city of spires and shadows. As tensions escalate and armies gather at the borders, how long will Guerdon be able to keep its enemies at bay? So if you've read The Gutter Prayer, um, it's kind of a dark urban fantasy. You can check out my review. I'll link it up here. Um, this is book two called The Shadow Saint, which looks pretty awesome. Um, the next one I have is 16th Watch by Mike Cole. Uh, Mike Cole also wrote the Sacred Throne trilogy, which were... Um, Kind of a three novellas, starting with the Armored Saints. So this is Mike Cole's kind of first foray into sci-fi. He had wrote kind of military sci-fi back in the day with some other uh, dark ops military sci-fi kind of things. Uh, 16th Watch is the Coast Guard. It must prevent the first lunar war in history. So it's a Coast Guard captain, um, which is ready for retirement. The only woman who could prevent the first lunar war in history, a conflict that will surely consume not only the moon, but Earth as well. 16th Watch should be out in March of 2020. Um, the next one I have is also a sequel to da, 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 10 Arrows of Iron by Sam Sykes. This will be out in August of 2020. This is a sequel to Seven Blades in Black, uh, following Sal the Cacophony and her adventures um, with Liette, which looks just absolutely amazing. If you haven't read Seven Blades in Black, Black, I'll link to my review up here. It was one of my top picks of 2019. So the sequel, 10 Arrows of Iron. Obviously, you should be anticipating as well if you've read Seven Blades in Black. It should be awesome. Um, the next one I have is called The Loop by Ben Oliver. This will be out in March of 2020. Uh, Luca Kane will die in the loop, a prison under the control of artificial intelligence. Delays to his execution are granted if Luca submits to medical experiments. Escape is made impossible by a detonator sewn into his heart. Both, But on Luca's 17th birthday, the life in the loop is altered. The government issued rain stops falling and rumors of unrest start to spread. Breaking out may be his only chance to survive and stop a catastrophe from bleeding humankind. That one looks pretty cool. Uh, the next one is also a sequel. It's called Random Shit Flying Through the Air by Jackson Ford. This is a sequel to The Girl Who Can Move Shit With Her Mind. Uh, following the story of Tegan Frost. This will be out in June. Um, Tegan Frost's life is finally back on track. 
her role working with government as a psychokinetic operative is going well, and she might be on course for convincing her crush to go out with her, but little does she know that shit is about to hit the fan. Um, I think this is about uh, earthquakes, yeah, ability, a young boy with the ability to cause earthquakes has come to Los Angeles. So that's a problem. Um, the next one is A Pale Light in the Black by K.B. Wagers. This will be out in spring by Harper Voyager. Uh, the book centers on a rivalry between military branches, which plays out through the boarding games, a competitive pitting service pitting service members against each other to see just who is the best in events like tactical problems, uh, solving, plotting, fencing, and martial arts, and of course, boarding actions. So this may be kind of like a, uh, a Hunger Games, Ender's Game type of things where they pit, pit military branches um, against each other. Sounds pretty cool. A Pale Light in the Black. Um, the next one I have is Axiom's End by Lindsay Ellis. You may recognize Lindsay Ellis for her YouTube essays, her YouTube channel. Um, obviously she's writing a sci-fi novel now called Axiom's End. This will be available in July. I'm surprised no one else has really mentioned this. It seems like a pretty big deal for a pretty big player, but we'll see. Um, an alternate history first contact adventure set in the early 2000s about a young woman who becomes the sole point of communications between humanity and a potentially hostile alien civilization. Sounds pretty cool. First contact story. Uh, kind of has a vibe of um, Agent of the Stars by John Scalzi. The next one I have is Memoirs and Misinformation by Jim Carrey, which I thought would be really cool. They said it's kind of like a, a autobiographical novel. Um, if you like having your brain turned around by Charlie Kaufman's Hollywood Conundrum, a la Being John Malkovich or Adaptation, and grab the popcorn and pick up Jim Carrey's fictional but semi-autobiographical novel. Um, he quips on the jacket copy, none of this is real and all of it is true. I was really into Jim Carrey's kind of phase where he said, you know, people aren't real, Jim Carrey's not a real person. That's kind of, was kind of very intriguing to me. Um, Alright, a couple more. I have uh, Mallory by Josh Mallerman, a Bird Box novel. Not really much to say if you haven't read Bird Box. This will be his follow-up to that, called Mallory, the story of Mallory which would be uh, pretty freaking awesome. Um, the next one I have is The Boatman's Daughter by Andy Davidson, uh, which Paul Tremblay called a lush nightmare of a supernatural thriller about a young woman facing down ancient forces in the depths of the bayou with a heady myth-making of Neil Gaiman and the heart-pacing uh, of Joe Hill. Um, and then finally, I have A History of What Comes Next by Sylvain Nouvelle. Uh, on Goodreads, it's just labeled Untitled, uh, Take Them to the Stars, number one. So, that's coming out next year. That should be pretty awesome. I'm excited to see uh, Sylvain Nouvelle's new stories and see what he comes up with after the um, Sleeping Giants trilogy, which I thought was awesome. Alright, i got time for one more, which is The Last Human by Zach Jordan. Uh, a few other people have this on their list. It looks pretty kind of funny, comical, right up my alley. Uh, comes out in March. The, the Last Human in the Universe is on the run from a godlike intelligence in his rip-roaring debut space opera. Uh, Saria is the civilized galaxy's worst nightmare, a human. Most days, Saria doesn't feel like the most terrifying creature in the galaxy. So it seems kind of like a comical, funny sci-fi story, which is what I absolutely love. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you like this list. I hope you find something new. I hope you add these to your TBR. When you read them, let me know, because I will be reading them as well, hopefully. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.